Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Behold, one of the most frightening monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, Relinquished! At least it was frightening in Season 1 of Duel Links, and maybe 2002, but right now it's 2010. Why would you be playing this card? Well, the answer is simple. Jin. No, not that Jin, the bad Jin. Jin Desi... Riri of Rituals? God, I hope I'm saying that right. This card, when you ritual summon a monster, allows you to banish this card from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. For a one-star monster like Relinquish, that's the entire ritual summon, and the monster ritual summoned using this card as material is immune to trap effects at a point when traps are king. Why was this deck, with such a powerful monster, not good around the same time as Edison format? Well, the answer is that Relinquished is not a particularly good boss monster. If he wasn't strong enough to crack into the meta in GOAT, he's not going to be strong enough here either. Regardless, this is a deck that I spent a lot of time in 2010 and 2011 trying to make work. Relinquished is an impressively weird boss monster, and I did want him to be powerful. Jin seems like a perfect pair for him, and as you can see from this list that we scrubbed from Pojo, people had some other ideas of things you could do with the strategy. The Chaos monsters line up extremely well in this scenario at a time when Chaos Sorcerer is really, really strong. The monsters are really low statted, which means you will have the time necessary to maybe get some quick draw play uh, synchro stuff going on, and of course, we also have Jin Releaser of Rituals legal at this time. It just so happens that many decks don't special summon, so as a result, it's nowhere near as powerful as it would be when Necroz is released. So with that, let's go through this impressively out-of-date relinquished list. We've got a Caius, a Card Trooper, and a Chaos Sorcerer, two Dandelion and two Jabri, two Jin, one Gores, double Honest, triple Manju with a thousand hands, three Quick Draw, triple Raikou, one Sangan, one Spirit Reaper, one Tragodia, three Relinquished, one Allure, three Black Illusion Ritual, Brain Control, Charge of the Light Brigade, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, triple Pot of Avarice, triple Prep, double Break of the Magical Warrior, double Cyber Dragon, a DD Crow, three Releaser, two Book of Moon, one Giant Trunade, a System Down, two Dark Illusion, and a Solemn Judgment in the extra. We have a bunch of stuff we will never summon, but mostly Chimera Tech, some Sevens, and importantly, some Synchron Synchros. So with that, let's see if we can bring Pegasus's legacy to a new decade. I am giddy for today's episode of History of Jank. It's very rare we have lore to go along with History of Jank, but when you get a first-hand account of something for Jank, you know it's gonna be a ridiculous episode. So the infamous spaceship deck has finally made its return to the history of Jank. We played a deck similar to this like 10 or 15 episodes ago that actually made its way to some big tournament. It may have been the world championship like very early on when the spaceship cards were first announced, but Alex Mitchell is the name that you are going to know and love after today. Because this deck not only topped SJC Nashville during this time, it also got top 64 at the 2010 World Championship Qualifier. That is just amazing to see, and this is why I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to shout out Afropunk over on Patreon because Afropunk gave me the entire breakdown of how they came to build this deck. So there's lore. I'm going to be looking this way to read off some of this stuff for you guys, but oh man, is this a journey. So let's go ahead and get into it. The main win condition of this deck is to play a sort of control style and ultimately get to a position where you can just OT with Lord British Space Fighter. The thing you want to look for here is that this card, when it destroys a monster by battle, can make a second attack in a row. This paired with a card like Honest means that the second attack from Lord British is actually going to do a significant amount of damage. Think of this hits a monarch or something larger, right? So you're playing control, you know, trading hits with your opponent, and then all of a sudden you just drop Lord British Honest, maybe even limiter removal and just win the game. Pretty disgusting. So that's what we're aiming to do here. And so if you haven't seen some of these cards before, don't worry, we will 
will definitely cover them. So Lord British is the first one. It says the core of the deck, we found out that it got to attack twice, then pop a set or generate a token, which is busted. And that's why we played two of it. Makes perfect sense, right? Then we have three Blue Thunder T45. It's a big hitter that gets a token and it does threaten Honest or at least give your opponent the impression that you might have Honest turn one. They also said, look, we were already a half a case in with like two days to make and test this deck from scratch. So there wasn't really that much thought put behind it. Fantastic. Then we have Victory Viper XX03. This really doesn't come up, but I don't recall what we were afraid of. But for some reason, I guess they bumped this to two at some point. I'm not sure which version of the deck had two, but I guess that maybe he's referring to an older build. I think they were afraid of Royal Decrees in Light Sworn. I guess that makes sense because we're playing like 10 traps and Victory Viper can pop a face-up spell or trap when it does destroy a monster. So that could be relevant. Three copies of Jade Knight as a uh, final piece of our spaceship lineup here. This one offers trap protection, but also it's able to uh, just get you another card of sorts. So it's sort of like a Cyber Phoenix is what they were comparing it to, except it's more in line with the spaceship ship theme. We also have two copies of Honest, of course, because that's one of the reasons to play this deck is that all the spaceships are in fact light. Two copies of Shining Angel is effectively like a better copy of Jade Knight because you can summon almost any of the ships off of it because it's 1500 or less attack. So it's a recruiter and it's still pretty relevant. Not really a surprise to see during Edison format. They said the only reason they had two Shining Angels instead of three because this decision was made at 5 a.m. the day of the tourney while taking tequila shots. They also have Morphing Jar in here because, you know, playing any sort of control deck, you want to just get back into the game or just be able to overwhelm your opponent with advantage that can work as well then we have sangen because they say quote actual good card and then uh there was a gores in a different version of this deck as well because the token that gores produces is light which is pretty neat because it gives a synergy with honest but instead we have three copies of ryo because ryo is a fantastic card in a deck like this this sort of like light control deck theme that we're going for here uh seems to work pretty well for the spells, Triple Book of Moon, Double Creature Swap. This is neat because we can swap stuff like Jade Knight over to the opponent, and then we're actually able to trigger the effect, so that way we get some value out of it. So sort of like Pyramid Turtle in uh, zombie decks, for instance. You could also give them like Sangen or a Morphing Jar after you just flipped it, so that's cool as well. Also, all the ships are just terrible attack stats, so like even just giving them a regular ship isn't the worst. Uh, two copies of Econ, Giant Trunade, Heavy Storm, Limiter, MST, one Nobleman of Extermination. They were actually worried about just losing their initial normal summon, so they played this in place of like a second MST because obviously MST I believe is only at one during this time and so just to make sure that you hit anything that would possibly stop your normal. Then for the traps, double bottomless, we have three copies of Dark Bride. This is in here to A, protect the summon to make sure that they stick but also to protect Royal Oppression which we're playing two of as well because the reason this deck works pretty well is because you can play under per oppression pretty easily and it's hard to deal with, you know, light monsters when you're always threatening Honest and uh, especially when they get so much value off of just killing stuff in battle, you know, oppression is pretty nice. Then we have a Mirror Force, a Solemn Judgment, and a Torrential rounding out our main 40. Then the side deck, two copies of Banisher. This is for all of the graveyard reliant decks because there are several of those around this time. Double DD Crow, same reason. Triple Fossil Dyna. This is just a fantastic card because game one, or excuse me, game two, when you know you're going first, you could just side into Banishers and Fossil Dyna and just play like an anti-meta stun sort of strategy backed up by all these cards like Book of Moon and all of your traps. And it's really hard for your opponent to play the game. Crevice into the different dimensions, like another copy of Crow, two Divine Wrath just to be able to protect your cards, to Dust Tornado if you need more back row removal if they're playing a back row heavy deck, and three copies of Mask of Restrict because why the hell not? Uh, the last part of the Patreon message here says, shoutouts to Alex, Chip, Brian, and Tony, 168 Miller Lights, a fifth of each silver tequila, silver rum, and vodka, and two all-nighters <laughs> because they did not get any sleep while they were constructing this monstrosity. I love it. I just love that there's lore. I think everyone can sort of relate to staying up till 5 a.m., right? before the tournament, trying to just make all the changes to your deck. If you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! in any sort of competitive capacity, I think this resonates with a lot of people. I think there's also supposed to be an extra deck for this deck, but like, you don't really have any tuners. I guess you could steal something with Econ, so if that comes up, like, whatever, I guess I'll just, you know, deal with it, but I guess you could just play a generic synchro package to have it, but you don't really need it, so I guess this is sort of a budget option for that day as well. Guys, I can't wait to see how this one's gonna go. It's gonna be a disaster. If we win, I mean, we're just the best pilot in this side of the galaxy, right? But ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. 
Joseph, I know we have been waiting for this episode, and the fans have been waiting for this episode for quite some time. The infamous spaceship deck is here. I guess we sort of touched on this uh, like several episodes ago, but this is the spaceship deck. There's lore to this. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And you get to play a crazy deck as well, so this is going to be a ridiculous episode. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, uh, shouts out to Konami for printing an archetype full of flying ships, um, all of which have a couple of things in, uh, you know, in common with each other uh, that do not work together at all. Uh, really Absolutely. happy that they just yep. have completely different effects for no reason, and we're playing all of them. But at least they're light, you know, so that yeah. works for Honest, right? But, yes. oh my god, I, I just want to get into this. This is going to be a nightmare. And uh, there's going to be actual gameplay this time compared to last week when we were both playing Herald, and I don't know why we thought that was a good well, idea. What do you mean? That, there was gameplay. You know, we, like, <laughs> opened our hands, I suppose. Yeah, something like that. All right, buddy. Uh, let's shout the patron. It is not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. Thank you for the support. Ah, they must have watched the Alien episode, I see. Yeah, that one went well, didn't it? <laughs> it went well for me, baby. <laughs> that's the power right. of not reading your cards. Yeah, that's true. All right, buddy, you got the hands up? Oh, I got the hand up. All right, let's go with Odd. It is Odd. One star on Relinquished. I knew it! That's exactly what I was going for. Easiest rock, paper, scissors of my life. All right. Good luck, sir. Uh, hope it goes well for you, but you're playing the Mighty Spaceship deck, so you've already Ooh. lost, fool. All right, I'll draw. Wow, this is actually pretty crazy. This does not look like a jank deck, just on the surface. I get to normal Ryo and set two and pass. <laughs> Seems Jesus pretty good to Christ. me. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, I'll draw for turn, stand by main. Uh, sure. I'm going to set one and back to you. See, the problem is I don't know how good Ryo is against a deck in jank because it's a jank deck. Yeah. So, and Ryo is a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, I will run out a Sangin. Sure. That'll let's hit with Ryo. Oh, this is like a normal thing that would happen in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll Ryko target your Ryo. Sure. Uh, Ryo is down. Oh, crap. I oh, needed Good. That. Your Black Illusion Ritual is gone. <laughs> Excellent. I'll hit you for a thousand. <laughs> yes, fine. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'll just throw it to you. All right. Stand by main. Oh, God. How am I doing this? Uh, okay. Um, I am just going to set one and pass it back to you. Great gameplay. Look at this. We have so much gameplay going on here. All right. I'll go to main phase one, and I think it's time to get the party started, buddy. I will normal summon Lord British Space Fighter. British? <laughs> what on earth does this do? Oh, my. This is so bad, dog. This is the so worst it's card got, I've ever seen. It's got three effects. So if it kills a monster by battle, I can either make a second attack in a row I can pop a set card, which, like, that's not bad. Or I can special summon a multi-token, which is a 1200-1200 level 4 light oh, token. dude, so, that's so cool. Right? I'll go to battle. Let's hit. All right, it's just Desiree. Tango 9-9, Tango 9-9. We're going to go ahead and use that effect. I don't even know which effect I want to use here. Do I want to hit you again? Or do I just want to get a, a token? Card. <laughs> Uh, I could target a set card. That is true. It's not opponent set card. I think I want to have the board present. So I'm going to make a token, I guess. So let's do that. That's fine. Uh, so I can put that in attack too. Uh, we'll go a thousand. Sure. And I'll just track here. Oh, well, that's no fun. All right. Uh, second main? Man, why'd you have to do that? That's no fun. All right, go ahead. I'll just pass. I will draw for turn. Uh, I will prep rights here. Sure. Uh, I'm going to grab Relinquished, and I'll put back the uh, Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, so I guess milling that didn't uh, do anything. Shocker. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Uh, I'm going to fire off the Black Illusion Ritual. I'm going to banish this uh, Dijin Deserer. Hey, 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 hey. I may have a response here. All right. I mean, if you want to negate the Black Illusion, you are more than welcome to. I mean, Relinquished is a card. I don't know if I really want to deal with Relinquished in all honesty. Uh, it's also immune to traps from this Jin, right? That yes. is correct. Okay. Still staring down Trag. If Sangan is sent off of being absorbed by Relinquish, does it still trigger? Ready? I'm yes. Go no. It oh. does. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I care then in that case? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'll, I'll take Relinquish. That's fine. All right. Uh, he Bring emerges. Uh, I am going to uh, take your Lord British. Sure. Uh, well, this is a thinker. I didn't think I would get this far. Uh, I'm just going to go to combat. Uh, we're going to hit for 24 into your token. I think I'm going to book the trag. Sure, that's fine. 
Well, now this is a thinker. Uh, you can eat my guy. Uh, if I walk into your Sangan, then you can trigger it, get a spaceship, and then the spaceship can proc. Damn, that sucks. I'm just gonna walk the relinquished into the token, I believe. Okay, so then that's fine. All right. And then Lord British goes. Yep. I'll just pass turn here. Uh, I'll draw. Yeah, I'll go battle here. I'm gonna put Sangan into relinquished. I'll take the thousand. Okay, and I will also take the thousand. Uh, <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no? <laughs> Only when he's equipped with a monster. Only when he's equipped. Okay. Yeah, this card's not uh, very good. Uh, I was thinking it was a lot better than it was. That's fine. All right, second main, I'm going to creature swap. Ooh, okay. You can have the track. Uh, then I will pass. Okay, draw for turn, stand by main. Well, you know, uh, smoke them if you got them. Uh, I'm gonna go Black Illusion Ritual, uh, pitching Dandelion. Hey, 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 sir, sir. Oh my God. What do you have for me? What do you have? Dark Bribe. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was Third Black Illusion worse. coming in. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna banish a light in a dark. Oh, fuck me. Did you just draw it off of the dark? Oh, no, no, no. It's, okay. and it's not a bad one. Uh, we'll just, okay. um, go to combat here. Uh, I'll attack into my track. Uh, oh, there's no way you have gores. It's actually quite likely you have gores. I'm just gonna switch the Sangan to defense position. Uh, I'm gonna set one card back. Uh, I'll go ahead and draw. I will normal summon honest. That's fine. I'll hit my Sangin. That's also fine. I will trigger my Sangin. Yep. With it, I will grab staring down Sork, a set. Man, where's the spaceship that just, if it kills something in battle, just pops a monster? That's really what this archetype needs. <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself another copy of Lord British. Then second main, I'm gonna put Honest back to hand and I will throw it to you. Don't like this. Uh, combat, wah. I'll take 23, that's fine. All right, well, I'll set one back to you. I mean, I didn't have to gorge you there for what it's worth. Oh, going. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll draw, I'll go mm -hmm. to main phase one. I will run out the Lord British. That's fine. I will go to battle, let's send him in. No response. I will go for Honest here. Sure. I'll take 12. Yep, I will trigger British. I will pop this set. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, it's Raiko. Second main, I'll set two cards and I'll throw it to you. All right, stand by main. Uh, I'm gonna tribute Dandelion for Caius. Target with the Caius. Uh, whew, I don't know. Both of these are mandatory, right? Yeah, so we'll go uh, Caius one, Dandelion two. Targeting Lord British. Yep. Um. I will bottomless the Kais. Well, okay. So I get banished. You get your tokens. Uh, quick draw. Sure. Mm -hmm. Drill warrior. There he is. You got to have some bluffs going on here. Uh, let's go in. Wow. I'll take 24. Uh, second main, let's get this guy out of here. Yep. Any other relinquished? Mm -hmm. I do like that you can just pitch dead copies of relinquished for Drill Warrior. That's yeah, cool. I mean, this was the theory behind relinquished in early GOAT format is that it's Ugh. also just like a, a stupid card. Like, you just draw a million copies of it. I will... Thinking what you could possibly get back off the Drill Warrior. Yeah, I'll set two and I'll throw it to you. I fear nothing. Uh, standby, we'll bring him back. Bring him back. Uh, I'll get Dandy here. I'm pretty good. Dandy. I could get a Chaos Sork. Ooh, that's lethal. No, it's Dandy. All right, uh, combat, wah. Have to mirror force this. Just found the removal spell. All right, well, whatever. Uh, second main, uh, I'm kind of big chilling here. No, we'll, we'll set a card. Uh, back to you. I'll draw. I know the set is dandy. I'll set and pass. Go ahead. Oh, if you think I'm not above attacking with dandy, you're out of your mind. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Manju. Ooh, yeah, sure. Uh, I will grab Black Illusion Ritual. Okay. I don't think that's really going to do too much for me. Combat. 14 is fine. All right, back to you. Show me a spaceship. Oh, <gasps> that's a spaceship, buddy. Let's go, J oh Knight. God. Get in here. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay, sure. Uh, So this one is Wait, fine. this one's terrible. This, yeah, it's not that great. It's okay, though. It's fine. So I can hit a token. I can... That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I can hit Dandelion, which makes more tokens, oh. <laughs> which isn't great. I guess I will go to battle. 
Yep. I'm obviously not killing Manju. Do I kill the dandy to give you more tokens or do I just kill the token that you have? I'll just kill the token that you have. You're going to get them anyway at some point. Uh, I'll just pass here. One time, Caius. Let's go. Ah, uh, it's not Caius. It's a lot better. Whoa, a pot of avarice. Nice draw. Is that okay? That's fine. Ooh, yeah. Ho! Oh! Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. No, that's not how that works. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not how this works. Uh, we'll put the sork back as well. Seems pretty good. Every one of these draws is crazy for me. Come on. Ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> no! oh man. Nice All right. Uh, I got to think here. Uh, trying to think how I live, but I'm also weighing how I can win the game. All right. Let's do this i'm gonna econ take your manju hmm okay and i have no other effects it was limiter extermination jesus all right let's go for charge the light brigade ah uh oh ah okay there's gonna be one still in there <laughs> let's go ahead and grab uh are you out i didn't shuffle any of them back that's <laughs> <laughs> i could have sworn i was playing three. Oh, there's one in banished <laughs> There's one uh, in Banish, yeah. All right, well, um, you know, we, we tried. Uh, we tried there. Uh, huh, well, uh, I guess uh, you are good to go. I'll draw. Oh, you get this back. I wish I get to keep this permanently. Uh, go. <laughs> okay, stand by me. Damn, maybe I should have just not activated anything, just kept the Jade Knight. I'll take, what is it, 17? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Spaceship. It is not a spaceship. Uh, you got game one, buddy. Woo. You know, I'm glad what happened in that last episode did because I think in Mitchell's top 16 match in SJC Nashville, he went like seven turns without drawing a monster. So I'm glad we got to replicate the experience of playing the deck, you know, as it happened in the real tournament. Well, you know, if there's one deck that can take advantage of a deck that takes 15 turns to find a playable monster, boy, it is the deck with quick draw synchron and dandelion. All right, well, we'll see if that holds true for round two. I will just go ahead and set myself a pair and we'll throw it to you. All right, stand by main. Um, go. Okay. I'll draw. Go to main one. So that's probably right. It could be anything. Could be w uh, what if it's a gin? Could be anything. Uh, let's. Am I scared of Raiko? I'm not scared of Raiko. I'm going to bring out Blue Thunder T45. Jesus Christ. Go to battle. We'll hit in. All right. It's Raiko. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to get your back row, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was just space, so no big deal. Uh, Sick. Suit you mill. Nothing too great. Uh, I do get a token here, and I believe it is a 1500 attack token. Oh, so it is. In. And second main, I will set another card, and I'll throw it to you. Damn it. I was just hoping that would never happen. Uh, okay, uh, let's go charge the Light Brigade here. Well, at least you have a target this time. Well, for now. Okay, all right, well. Okay, both Honest gone. If Honest is at two. Uh, it was, it was the rank. next oh, sure. card, by the way. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, I'm going to normal Manju. That's fine. All right, I'll grab Relinquished. Okay. Combat. Uh, sure. We'll go into the set card. It is Jade Knight. That's take triggered. 400, you fool. I learned from my mistakes last time. Okay, and now you can take uh, this dick. No! <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> um, if, thinking. If you've got Dark Bribe, this is a good time for it. <laughs> yeah, this is a good time to use it. Uh, sadly, I don't. But I do have something else. So thinking here. I have a book, which is decent. I am thinking what I want to protect. I think I want to protect the Jade Knight, actually. So I'm going to reset this, and these get banished. <sighs> All right. I suppose it doesn't matter that I know that's a machine. Uh, what am I doing here? Can I see the text on Jade Knight one more time? Sure. By battle. Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll go for Black Illusion Ritual here. Had the illusion ritual. All right, give Already. me your guy. Sure. It's all yours. Uh, deciding if I want this in attack or defense position. I think attack is like funnier. Main one. That would have been nice. This is not great, folks. I will set one. Go ahead. I mean, you're not really in any danger of getting killed here. I'm not. No, but you know, relinquish is just annoying to deal with. So he's an asshole. Oh. Uh, 
Speaking of assholes. No, I don't think so. All right, let's just set one and pass. Could literally okay. be anything. Uh, we'll draw. Yep. Ooh, well, that's pretty good. So I know you have a right go off the charge. You do. Yeah, I guess I'm just passing here. Stand by main. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ryko. Torrential. Okay. That's unfortunate. Let's see what I get off this. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Was kind of hoping for a dandy there. We're going to go pitch the brain con for a quick draw. Sure. Normal gin deserere. Ooh, that's six. Yeah. Uh, we will go for my friend. There he is. Uh, I mean, if you have gores, you have gores. Take 24. Uh, second main, we'll pour it out. You've got a lot of targets there, sadly. Yes, I do. I will draw. All right, I'm going to run out Ryo. Uh, no cards. I'll hit for 19. Ah, were well, you looking up if this is uh, this counts? <laughs> uh, Maybe. That might be what I was looking up. Uh, second main, I'll set to throw it to you. All right. Whoop. Uh, whoop. Uh, oh, oh, you're fucking with me, dog. That's what I was looking up to double check if it works. Oh my god, I can't beat this. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations <laughs> on drawing royal oppression. What do I do here? In my spaceship. Isn't this a great spaceship card, Joseph? Yeah. This is as much of a spaceship deck as Gore's was an alien, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll draw. Let's run out Lord British. Yeah. I don't know if I'm hitting in, but we'll try. Take eight. <laughs> Ah, oh, that sucks. Can you right, defeat I'm Mystical Elf? We will now find out. I guess we will. I'll set another card and go ahead. Heavy. Nope. I'll draw. Uh, that's pretty good. I will creature swap. Uh, I'll take Ryo, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Can have that. Uh, I can't change the battle position, unfortunately. Uh, I have Banisher of the Radiance, oh, though. Oh, Jesus so that's Christ. Okay. Uh, I'm taking, Hit. what, seven? And then 16. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know what I'm trying to draw here. All right, go ahead. We'll draw. I don't know what I fear at this point, so I'm going for it. Shining Angel. Yeah. It. It's Ryo. I think one turn too late. Even if I mill Dandy, it's not enough because the fucking Banisher. Woo! All right, game three, baby. Let's go spaceships. I congratulations on your spaceships victory. Oh. About time. <laughs> All right, okay, 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 okay. This time I'm coming prepared. <laughs> I mean, you already have the system downs, so I don't All know right. how much more prepared you need to be. This is hard. I have to think really hard about this one. Hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Th th real difficult decision yeah, so here. I just really just have to think really hard about this one. Just give me a sec here. Okay. Uh, ooh. All right. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead. All right. Excellent. Uh, Drill Warrior already in rotation. Perfect. Uh, main one. I will normal Ryo. Take out your token. Hmm. Then second main, I guess I'll set one and throw it to you. Alex, if that is royal oppression, I swear to God, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> uh, stand by. So uh, when you bring back your drill warrior, yeah. it's bottomless. It's not a person. Oh, okay. I mean, that's annoying. Uh, how do I want to do this? You still um, get the thing back, so, you know. Yeah, who do I want? Could be worse. Quick draw is like, cool. I think I'm getting dandy. Okay. I think I have an option here, really. Okay, um, I'll special Sidra. It's pretty good. Yep. All right. Uh, wow. Take two. Shit, didn't think I was getting this far. Second main, I'll... Do I even set the dandelion? Yeah, I guess I do. Just give you some targets. Go ahead. All right. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'll go to main one. Mm -hmm. How do I contest a fucking Sidra? I actually do not know. Summon a bunch of machines, dude. I think that's a good you idea. Know, th that would be the <laughs> ultimate solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll run out Victory Viper XX03. You got it. I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, I'll hit what I hope is Dandelion. It, but yeah, it, clearly. Okay, get your tokens. Uh, I get an effect here. I'm obviously not using the second because there's no face-up spell or trap. Kind of want a token, if I'm being honest, but that, I guess, plays into uh, system down a little bit more. I mean, not really because it's just going to fucking kill everything regardless. 400 attack also doesn't really do much in the face of Sidra. So, yeah, I guess I'll make the token. Sure. Sure. 
Put it in defense, I guess. Uh, second main, I'll set one, and I'll throw it to you. Anything in standby? Nope. All right. I'm just going to make Kamara attack. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry, dude. I, I feel like, you know, you are getting hit for Machina's sins here. It's uh, fine. That's okay. fine. What I'm is... like, you better have it. You better have it. And you, you fucking had it. All right. Okay. Let me, let me think real quick. Are, am I actually allowed to eat your token? Because can I send it to the graveyard for Chimera Tech? Ooh, interesting question. Monster tokens cannot be sent to the graveyard. Wow. Okay. So enjoy right. your option token. Yeah. Which it has like zero attack. Oh, but destroy it if the card is no longer face up. On yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Victory Victory Viper. <laughs> okay, so this is 2,000. Yeah. Uh, and my token gets blown up. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know. I got some plays. What are the chances it's torrential? 100%. If it's torrential, it's just so fucking bad for me. Uh, Whatever. I'll normal breaker. I mean, <laughs> I uh, of course, to. yeah, sure, 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 sure. All right, I do have a pot of avarice, so. I mean, that's pretty good for a follow up. It's so fine. I, I would have preferred to keep my freaking board. But, buddy, you put the Fortress Dragon back in your extra deck, Ooh, so if you get another yeah. side draw, I'm fucked. Uh, that's actually <laughs> true. Okay, did I normal this turn? I did, right? Who's the you breaker? did, you normal breaker. All right, back to you then. All right, can I see a monster? I guess not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> God, I will set one and pass. I freaking love Yu-Gi-Oh. Excellent. Uh, that is a monster. I have the Lord British. Let's she has go. Returned. <laughs> Hit into the Rika. Okay, fine. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna get the back row here. Okay. Uh, it's oppression. Oh, pretty thank good God. <laughs> All right, mill your cards. Yeah. I also have to pick my effect here too. Uh, so. Oh, okay. Desa Rare. Right. I'll take that. Not bad. Uh, I can make a second attack. I guess same situation as before. I can just do the damage or I can get the token to do the damage for me. Uh, this token sticks around if you Chimera attack me. Broken. There's that. Dog, that's so right? crazy. <laughs> right? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll make the token. Sure. I'll take 12 here. Hit for 12. Yeah. All right. Uh, and here's Gorse. I'm kidding. That'd Excellent. be crazy, right? Set... A card. Can you please and... stop fucking setting cards, dog? All right. Uh, stand by me. <sighs> You're killing me here. Uh, charge. Sure. Smell the Ryko. Are you? Oh, there was... oh! <laughs> okay, we got one left. We got one left. <laughs> you have one left. <laughs> oh, my God. Do Wait, did I board it out? Oh, thank God. Okay. Damn. That would have been great. Uh, could be anything. Could really be anything here. Uh, at least I know that the Gores is gone now. But what if it's track? Uh, could be. Could very well be. Uh, battle, Lord British in. All right, uh, I'm going for the back row again. It is Book of Moon. Are you ready? This is, it's just gonna be Dandelion. Ah, uh, <laughs> man, I don't even know right. why. You wanna do 24 here? Uh, I'll try to, Trag. Yeah. No, I got nothing. Okay, all right. The the Lord British is uh, doing something, I guess. I will, I'll set two. Stop fucking drawing back row. <laughs> Go. That's right. what this deck does, buddy. You get like one spaceship and the rest is back row. Uh, dandelion. Quick draw? Yes. Uh, fine. <sighs> okay. Thinking here, actually, before right, yeah. you commit to anything. It's annoying that quick draw has 1,400 defense. I'm going to econ take your quick draw. Ooh, okay. That's... Continue. Comedy. All right, I think I got a pass here, yeah. Ooh, okay. All right, we got there. Draw. That's not bad. Uh, let's go to battle. Yes. Uh, kill the token. Sure. I will keep making tokens, I guess. Yes. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, kill the other token. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll... This one can't attack. I, I, I can, like I just did by accident. But I'm just going to put that one in defense because he's not doing anything. Then second main, I just have to worry about you getting another token. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. I guess I'll just pass here. Stand by me. I need the victory viper to get that 400 <laughs> extra attack. All right, uh, I'm going to normal dandelion. Uh, we'll go these two for road warrior. Don't you need road synchron to make road? Oh, quick draw counts as it, right? Right. Uh, but doesn't it need two or more non-tuners? I will not make road warrior. 
<laughs> what am I waiting on? Junk Destroyer? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, geez. We'll just go combat. Uh, I'm going to walk into one sure. of these tokens. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. Uh, that's fine. So you're going to take nine. Yeah. I'll trigger Dandy. Uh, we'll make uh, our guy. Chirp. Get him out of here. Dead relinquished in hand. And then system down. Boo! Got Dark Pride, motherfucker! <laughs> This is not... Am I dead here? You might be, buddy. The 12 plus... Oh my god, I'm dead! Are you fucking with me? No! Two attack, boys! Tango oh. died, died! We're getting in there! I've got Fossil Dino to make okay, it much worse right. for you anyway. We're hitting in, boys. Getting another spaceship in here, although you could Not with the Fossil Dino! Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh I got way too God. excited. All right. 36. So this is what? 12, 24, 36. All right. We got it, boys. We got it. Spaceships in. Let's fucking go. I played a little fast and loose with my life total there. Uh, I should have <laughs> system down 15 turns ago. Oh, but man. Was it even really that good just to kill one ship with a token? I don't know. Not really, like, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, man. I wasn't drawing monsters. I wasn't even holding them. Like, I just drew this Jade Knight after, like, nine turns. So. Man, okay, I'm I'm actually, I wanted to talk shit on this spaceship deck because it looked terrible, uh, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I, like, honestly, not awful. Yeah, no, uh, the, the, I guess the theory is you just need one spaceship uh, and every other card in your deck is, like, individual spell traps. I was in a position where, like, for 15 turns straight, I had a card that pops a spell trap uh, if you give it a turn, right? I had a Raikou, right. I had a, a Caius, uh, all that crap. If I give you a turn, you get to swarm one additional guy, and after the spell trap is destroyed, you just set another one. And if any yep. of those contests my normal, uh, suddenly I am in a terrible position, as we saw in these games. That is not difficult I, to find yourself in. Sad we didn't get to really show off. I mean, we, we did get to see this deck. We saw the strengths of this deck, yeah. right? I'm trying to find an adequate way to describe this. We didn't get to see what this deck was like intended to do because across three games, I saw Honest one time and I didn't have any spaceships really to pair with it, except for I think when I killed like your Sydra or whatever in like game one. Mm -hmm. And I also didn't see limiter removal either. So what you're supposed to do, according to Mitchell in the research of the lore that I had to do for this, you're just playing a control deck of sorts. And then once you have Lord British, you can honest Lord British into a monster. And then because it can make a second attack in a row, you can sort of just win the game out of nowhere because honest will keep the attack increase. So if I hit into like this Caius here, let's say with honest, you take 1200 on this first hit, but then you take like 48 on the second hit uh, or excuse me, 36 for a total of 48. So it doesn't like OTK you, but it's just something that because of Lord British specifically being able to attack twice, uh, is what you're uh, trying to accomplish with this deck to sort of just like end the game out of uh, absolutely nowhere. But each of the ships has their own like unique set of abilities that sort of came up. I guess Lord British is sort of the best one, even though we make the most fun of it. Uh, Jade Knight just searches into any of them. Uh, Victory Viper is like worse Lord British. It can get slightly larger in attack and the token you summon off the Viper can gain the same attack. And then Blue Thunder summons tokens as well. And it's like the biggest one at 17. So like stat wise, they're not terrible. Terrible. And the fact that they're all just like light machines as well just synergizes with some other cards in the game. And you just pad that with like 20 traps and quick play spells. And, you know, you have like a decent control deck. And so I think we got to see why for a brief moment in time, this deck actually was able to do something. Uh, multiple times, Alex topped why uh, SJC Nashville with this deck and then also went to the uh, top the world championship qualifier in 2010 with this build of the deck that I'm playing here, which is just astonishing. I mean, I, I just have to be honest with you. Like, uh, if you're a longtime MBT fan, you know my feelings about the British. And uh, this has just reminded me that I'm 100% correct. Oh my gosh, what an oppressive card. I really liked my deck, uh, but it's hard not to look at this list and feel as if it's just bad Quick Draw Dandy Warrior. Uh, Quick Draw Dandy Warrior does kind of have a problem against decks that stick a single monster and like use it yeah. to win the game on its own. 
Uh, it is also an exceptionally slow deck. One of its big strengths is it pretty much always has about eight cards in its hand. Uh, so Relinquished is resolving a problem that the deck doesn't need. Uh, it turns right. what should be empty advantage into meaningful advantage by way of Relinquished, but in practice, it just means your eight card hand also has like two useless Black Illusion Rituals. I also liked Jin Desirear, but I played this card like in multiple formats in Relinquished specifically, trying to break it as late as like 2012. And the unfortunate truth about this card is um, it's only okay. Uh, Releaser of Rituals is in the board and really good against very specific things, but your deck, for instance, doesn't need to special summon at all in order to uh, get off to the races, and that's true of a lot of decks around this time as well. I mean, uh, Mac and a Gadget is a top-tier strategy. Uh, while trap cards are very powerful, there's also stuff like Book of Moon in the format that just eats these uh, cards alive, and Jin is just another brick you don't want to draw. You know, it's hard to look at this and not feel like it's just, if you took out the Jins and the Relinquished and played some more defensive spells and traps and some Volcanics, you wouldn't be in a much better position. But you also wouldn't be playing Relinquished, so. Fair. But in all fairness, this is History of Jank, so oh, yeah. at the very least, it was very funny. <laughs> I found it extremely funny. Uh, I, I can't believe I lost to the British once again. God damn. <laughs> You're never going to hear the end of that no, one, buddy. No, no, no. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. I hope you enjoyed. As always, let's shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Moto Cameron Smith, Tim Zuzer X3, SJ Winchester, Chaotic Meeple, MBT Play Medolce, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan Medhoven, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asin 05, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rockslide, Jordan Coons, Iron Blazum, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Skyrose, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Phoenix the Immortal, Einstein's Theory of MBT's Relative Toes, Hornet, Give Me Speedroid or Give Me Death, Jonah Messenger, TC gaming thanks for the sleeves dad matthew brady max mbt's ghost trick bmw tom russell why read cards when you can just click buttons helios 515 black acre thank you simo mbt gauge the rjb0 and ruxton 34 the entire state of indiana valen jackson justice for queen tira masu imagine committing a crime and finding out your lawyer is a yugi tubing rothschild mbt fans scare me more than covid simping for simo tyler h nicholas carpenter simo's harem of sexy yugi tubers nim noodle malaprinch of the burning tunnels mbt canceled by all community soon. Mike Ty, Stella, and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffles, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. Just an awesome name. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it, and The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.